I've said before how I quite like using Pentax compact cameras and a few months ago I was given this Zoom 105 and it was a camera I hadn't actually used before and this camera came out in 1990 there was another model in 92 and it's interesting that earlier today I did a video on the Olympus AZ300 which was a bit of a bridge camera and this is a little bit as well it's not an as as extreme as some of those sort of film bridge cameras but it has got quite a lot of features on and compared to the later compact cameras you can see how large it is partly large because of the features it has and the lens technology still has some way to go we have a 38 to 105 lens and you have this nice display on the top with a light on as well and on the back you have the zoom so we can zoom all the way out to 105 um, and obviously that is linked with the viewfinder so the viewfinder leads um, zooms and we have a nice firm control on the back and what I quite really like as well is that on the not that you can see the LCD when you are um, using the camera but the lens goes um, in and out on the LCD and it tells you what focal length you've actually got. Um, you've also got an uh, indication that we've got a film in um, and uh, very straightforward to, to load the camera. We have a macro function on the side. Um, I think that is for a remote function. Um, I ought to know. Um, we have some quite complex controls on the back. I say complex, um, or controls that give options. We have um, a flash, um, a flash at night, a bulb setting, um, and a flash with bulb setting. So we have different um, flash settings there, which is really useful. We um, we can alter the plus and minus on the exposure which is very useful and then we have a timer function with a self timer and this camera will allow um, bracketing um, interval and um, several shots at once so we have a really good selection of options there as I say Although the camera would appear to be bulky, it's actually really nice in the hand. And the lens was well known at the time for being a high quality lens. Um, the electronic self timer can actually expose up to five shots. Slightly different that the film is actually put in the camera and the canister goes upside down to how it normally does and it goes from the right hand side to the left. Conventionally it always goes left to right. It takes CR123A batteries. These aren't the cheapest batteries but they are readily available. It's an 11 element lens in nine groups. What we are looking for in a compact camera, I think, is something that you can rely upon. And this camera is a camera which I feel you can do that with. Let's see how I got on when I actually used it. This first image is nice and sharp and it's clear. I had made a slight mistake in that the this camera is purely DX coded and according to the instructions I read somewhere it has a default of something like 40 um, ISO which sounds a bit daft. Um, so I did slightly change the development of this film and it actually turned out absolutely fine to be honest. Um, the camera actually performed as I hoped. It is really sharp, it's bright, it's easy to use, the viewfinder is really clear, the fact we can make some alterations like we can set it to um, infinity we need to um, makes it an ideal camera. I can sort of see why this camera had such good reviews when it was launched and it did. Um, it was quite a serious compact camera. 
as I said in my review earlier, it is bulky. Um, I used it on a January afternoon and I was really pleased with the results. The only problem was we did have a little bit of rain and I got some raindrops on the lens and that caused one or two photos to be a bit out of focus but the majority of photos were really sharp and it's easy to hold as I said so if you are using it on the 105 zoom you seem to be able to get away with it. Um, it's also absolutely fine at the um, short end. This is um, at the 38 end. We had lots of rain in January and you can see how the water meadows are flooded here. Um, I keep on about the sharpness as I said for a zoom lens. It's really good. I was really pleased with this camera. I don't know. I in My, my initial thought was um, just another comeback compact but because of the good definition the ease of use it actually compared really well to some of the later um, SBO cameras I think it's as good if not actually better than um, I've got a SBO 140 which I really like this camera I think I'm going to keep for a bit because as a user camera as a camera to keep in the car it's actually really good um, so if you do see one of these um, maybe consider it thanks for watching again bye for now